Imagine for us, we've got a watch. You guys score and there's no screaming. Yeah, nothing. nothing. It's just... <laughs> That's dead. Yeah, man, it's your way. I'm Philly and you're watching At Home with Bruno Fernandes. Bruno, how are you? I'm fine, are you? Yeah, I'm good. If you don't mind me asking, Bruno, why is your English so good? Normally, when players come, it's, their English is... I mean, they can speak, but like with you, yours is very fluid, you know? It flows a lot. How did you get your English to the point where it's at today? Because, for, for example, now, in Portugal, we start uh, really soon with the, with the English. Now, it's so, so than before, because before it was like you have uh, four years of school, and after this, you start with English. Now you have two years of school and you start already with English, you know? Wow. You start like with uh, seven years old, eight, eight years old now. In the past, with 10, you start to, to learn English. It's not perfect, but it, I think it gives you the basis to, uh, to talk better in the future, you know? I'm here now, I need to talk in, in English with my teammates and everything. And I, I try to, to, to speak with them every time and, and I try to understand everything the coach and uh, everyone says so I'm always also because in Portugal we look at the films for example in English yeah we have the subtitles also if you go on cinema you have the English and subtitles we don't have like the, the transfer like in, for example in Spain Italy for example yeah 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 and uh, the films on the cinema has everything in uh, with two voices for 10 different... Uh... For 10 different actors. I know what you're on about, I know what you're on. And the mouth moves different times. I'm quite an emotional man, and I like to find out the emotions that run through, um, you know, players' minds when they get offered an opportunity of a lifetime. I feel like, you know, for you being at Sporting and to get transferred to Man United, I, I feel like that is a, a, a lifetime move. As you said earlier, when I was interviewing you, you said that, Man United was one of the biggest clubs in the world, and it is. How did it feel for you, man? Being at Sporting so long, playing in your home country, to then get an offer from one of the biggest football clubs in the world. Like, what was going through your minds? Was you excited? Was you nervous? Talk to me. I was everything you said. You know, for for me, like uh, I said before, uh, Manchester is a, was a dream club, dream team. You know, because everything they won in the past and uh, everything they build, every player who passed here. So for me, uh, more close, I, I start to look more close Manchester when Cristiano was here. And uh, I think I think Cristiano he, he, he is the player he is today because in Manchester he's, he grew up a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. he, he was an amazing player here, but he starts like a young boy and he starts step by step. Uh, until being the best player in the world. For me, it was always a dream come true, you know, and that emotion just said, uh, uh, come on my mind in, uh, in look at in the past and thinking when I was, I don't know, 14, 15 years old, 13 years old, looking at, at Cristiano and everyone in the, in the Manchester, in the Manchester, and also the, the guys who passed here, like I can be here for hours saying all names who passed from Manchester. For me, it was one of the best clubs and one of the clubs who have the better players in uh, in the world. They 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 pass in Manchester. They 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 do a lot of for a lot for Manchester and for our countries. Like you can talk about Cantona, David Beckham. You know. The list goes on. So, so when you got when you got offered, when your agent or whoever told you told you, was it was it just an easy decision? Like, didn't you think about maybe um, the house you bought in in Portugal? Did you just go straight away? No, 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 we're going, we're going. Like, it's done. No, everyone, everyone knows my. I already said in Portugal in the interviews. Uh, every time they ask me because they talk about my name for a long time to come to the Premier League for no, different but... clubs, for also for the Spanish league. We talk about. Uh, about other clubs and uh, I always said to my manager my my dream is to play in the Premier League and uh, and he knows my the, the team I like more and my dream team was Manchester uh, and when uh, when he calls me send and say 
look at Manchester is coming for you be ready because maybe in January you need to go because I, I was afraid you know because the when you are at your own home on your country playing for sporting I was captain in the club I I do I do very well we I have like a family there the club was like family for me so, so help me understand when you say you was afraid was you You're not talking about your football ability, no? You're talking about more just leaving the place you, you lived in for so long? Yeah, you are afraid like... Because, for example, I did very well in Portugal and uh, you need to change your mind because it's not more Portugal, it's not more sporting, it's not more the Portuguese league. It's about Manchester, about, for example, now Europe League, the cup we have, FA Cup. Yeah about uh, going in the place for the Champions League because I come in January and uh, the, we need to look forward for this, this three, um, these three objectives we have. Yeah. Premier League was the, the, the point is going to the Champions League place. Uh, Europe League is about winning and FA Cup the same. So, you know, when you need to do this restart because in Portugal I was like, for now I was looking to Europe League step by step because in Portugal the teams unfortunately they need to to think step by step and now knowing winning the, the Europe League we, we we think on that we want that but we know it's much more difficult to us than for Manchester United because it's a big club with big players with better players because normally they are in Premier League with better better league everything you know uh, so You need to change your mind fast because I, I arrive at Manchester. I do the tests until the two in the morning. The, 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 the next day, yeah, the next day I go to the training ground to do more tests, uh, power tests and everything. I don't training with the team. Next day I train with the team and uh, one day more and I play against Wolves, you know, in three days I did, I did everything and without sleeping with tests, power tests, you know, when you do power tests, I, I go in the game, with, I feel everything, I feel pain everywhere because when you do the test, you do it your maximum level, you need to, to show uh, how much you can go and everything, so you spend a lot of energy, your, your muscles are like tight, you know, yeah. so, Uh, I go on the game, but I think this is this is my dream. I have the opportunity to come here in three days and play the, the first game. I don't care. I wow, big, big, big. Bruno, you've got your boots there, the neighborhood pack. What do you think of them, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think these boots, I I always, when I change to, to Nike, I start, I start to prove all the boots and everything. But the ones I like more was the Mercurial. Yeah. Mm, I think the, the Makura has a really nice boot, you know, are... Light as well, they're not heavy at all, light. Heavy, they are soft, they have quality, you know, you can uh, you can play without studs. Studs, you say, right? Yeah, yeah, studs, without studs, yeah. But because I play always, I, normally I play always with this one. Do you, yeah? I thought players prefer more studs. Yeah, but I, I prefer this. I don't know why. For example, I when I when you speak with players like small players and everything, they always like to play with these ones and not with studs because they say the for me is uh, is is like different, you know, change everything in your feet, in your feet. And I prefer I prefer this one. I use the others when I need when the pitch is is worst in worst conditions and everything. I use because you need it. So. But I prefer to use this one because I think it's more portable. I feel better because I train every day with them. So I think I think it's much better. What's your favorite color, dude? What What was your favorite color to wear? White. What? Everyone says white. For me, white or black? I've actually no, and everyone says black. I'm telling you, bro. Every player I've interviewed, the only two colors they say is black or white. They go, it's nothing better than a pair of white boots. Um, away from football, Bruno. Let's not talk football. Let's, to, let's talk your life away from football. What sort of things are you into, man? I'm, I'm a quiet guy, you know. I, I, I like to spend the, the day with my family, my daughter. I, um, I like to be in, on the sofa a lot. Yeah. I like to sleep in the afternoon. Always, I need to sleep. An hour, an hour and a half, 
That's another thing footballers tend to do. They always get back from training and have a nap. If I don't do it, I, no, nobody can talk with me. Okay. <laughs> All right, Bruno, what about your style of music? What sort of music do you like? Portuguese. You like Spanish music? Yeah, Latin music also, reggaeton, funk, uh, English music also, everything. I, 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 don't, I don't have a style, you know? I'm glad you said reggaeton as well. That one made me smile. Reggaeton, Bad Bunny, J Balvin, it's mad. But then I love the... Go on. I like Ozuna for me. Ozuna! But then do you like, do you like old school reggaeton? Because I'm really old school. I know like Don Omar, Daddy Yankee, Tedo Carderon, like... Yeah, that music is, is like the older music you, when you are in that kind of... Uh, oh, that's sick. That made me happy. With your friends, you know, and to remember this music you put on just to, to yeah. have, see everyone sing and everything. Yeah. But that, that kind of guy, you say that Yankee, um, Omar, everything, the, that kind of music for me was one of the best times of reggaeton. Yeah, man, it was really good. That's, that's yeah, I feel like that's what built it. I feel like that's what gave people like Bad Bunny, J Balvin, etc. To, to do as well as they're doing now. They have the, the chance they have to show his music, maybe because that guy's in the past doing very well. Yeah. And they can the world the reggaeton. We went into lockdown for some time. Of course, that meant no football. Um, for us as fans at home, it was horrible. Um, but how is it for the players, man? This is this is your dream. This is you. You pretty much do your passion week in week out, and then one day you get told that you can't do it and you have to stay home. Um, how did that feel? Did it affect your mental health? Was you okay? Was you still keeping fit at home? Talk to me. No, you, you you try to keep fit at home, you know. But mentally, it's really hard because you are normally every day in the morning you wake up, you take. Yeah, you take your shower, some guys, some guys take his coffee at home, you go to the training round, you have the time to spend with your teammates on breakfast, you go to the gym, you go to, to the beach, doing everything, you know, you enjoy your time in the, in the club. And uh, at this time when you wake up, you just need to go on the bike and being there for a long time, just all the time, every day on the bike or running outside sometimes when you can. Uh, the problem is you can run outside when there's a lot of people because you you have the problem on because of the virus. Virus, yeah. So you need to follow the rules. It's everything is really difficult to to us. But more than this, for me, the atmosphere you, we live in the in the stadiums is that is that you miss more. You know, because mm. football is about is about football players. It's about fans. It's about uh, playing football in front of everyone. Yeah, thousands for, for more than one person to enjoy, I agree, man. Most problem now, more than, uh, more than time we are, we are stopped because of this. Mm. It'd be difficult to play with our fans, you know? Uh, because the atmosphere they create in the games is unbelievable. You, sometimes when you need that push, they give you. And uh, now you don't have that push, so you will need to, between us, pushing together, some, some voice, some, some advice and everything yeah. will, be, will be necessary because some guys maybe can be ready for this, some, uh, someone no, uh, someone can be afraid maybe to say something to a player, go right, go left, because they know everyone will listen. Uh, I don't know, but uh, for me, the most difficult thing is now we play without without fun. Yeah, I know, it's not going to be the same. And even for us, you think it's like, think about it, it's difficult for the players, of course, because, you know what I mean, whether you're chasing a game or whether you're in front winning, like, those fans give you that extra support system to go 10 times harder? But imagine for us, we've got to watch, you guys score and there's no screaming. Yeah, nothing. nothing. It's just... <laughs> That's dead, so... I hope the Prem put like these fake 3D audience in so when you lot score, I can hear some atmosphere. Because I can't see you lot score and at least celebrate. Bruno, make me a promise. Make me a promise, bro. If you score, make sure you celebrate like there's a hundred thousand watching you. Don't, Bruno, don't do this, please. Uh, don't do this high five to Pompa and then, yeah, well done, guy. No. Scre yeah! Like there's thousands. I will go on my knees for sure. Promise me, yeah? Yes, for sure. Yes! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is all we 
have time for? I've been your host for the most. I go by the name of Young Philly, and he has been there amazing, the humble Bruno Fernandes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are over and out.